Hey there movie fans, welcome to the Blues of February 2018. First up, I'd like to give away some ultraviolet digital download codes to my viewers from the Benelux, Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg. If you live outside those countries, then I'm afraid these codes are useless to you. But anyway, here's the first one, Dunkirk. This is the, uh, the Dutch writings, and on the other side is the French writings with the code. You can pause it whenever you need to. Next one is Baby Driver. And the last one is Blade Runner 2049. Okay, and now for the movies I've bought over the past month, and the first one is the only DVD I got in this uh, update, and that is The Life of Emil Zola with uh, Paul Mooney, who was also in um, Scarface, you know, the, the original Howard Hawks version, and he was also in an, another uh, great film called I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang. Now, I haven't, um, I haven't seen this one yet, but this one, the... Um, the Oscar for, you know, for, for Best Picture in uh, back in 1937 and um, it's a courtroom drama and I love courtroom dramas uh, if it's well written and well acted and I have a feeling this movie is just that and speaking of courtroom dramas this is one of the best of its kind uh, witness for the prosecution which is my favorite Billy Wilder film next to uh, Ace and Hole. This is the um, the German media book, by the way. Hold the card with a with a little poster here. Let's check it out a little. Here it is. That's the poster. There's the Blu-ray, of course. Charles Lawton, who is perhaps at his finest in this in this film. This is uh, his wife, Elsa Lanchester. Uh, she's best known as the Bride of Frankenstein. Melina Dietrich here with uh, Billy Wilder himself. Behind the scene picture there. It's a, it's a magnificent film with a great, great twist in it. And a fine release from, uh, from Germany. And speaking of uh, media books, or ditchy books actually, I've, um, you know, I, I've been ne neglecting my ditchy book collection, so I've I picked up five uh, um, over the past month. Uh, two from Columbia Pictures and uh, three from um, uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, you know, part of the Frank Capra collection. Lovely movie, absolutely a loving movie. With uh, Gary Cooper over there, and this is uh, Frank Capra in the middle. Uh, little glare there. I also have the digi book of uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, and I missed out on the digi book of You Can't Take It With You. I need to find that one for, for a good prize. Beautiful release. And here's the other Capra movie, um, Lost Horizon. I've never seen this movie before. So I can't wait to, uh, to sit down and uh, check it out. Very nice. Look at that. Those miniatures. Yeah, beautiful release, aren't they? Very beautiful. 
And uh, the next three, like I said before, are from uh, Warner Brothers. This is the king, uh, excuse me, the, the man who would be king. Not the king who would be man, but the man who would be king. This is such a brilliant film. Sean Connery, Michael Caine at their very best. What a movie. What a movie. Oh, this is the, uh, it was at the back. Directed by uh, John Huston. Oh, there he is, right there. Ugh. Isn't that um, Michael Caine's wife? I believe he is. I think they're still together, right? The man who would be king, and then I have uh, whatever happened to Baby Jane. Now I've seen this movie before, years and years ago, but I came uh, curious about it again after I saw Feud. You know, the first season of Feud with um, Susan Sarandon as Betty, Betty Davis and uh, Jessica Lange as Joan Crawford. They did, they did a fabulous job, especially uh, at Susan Sarandon. You know, there were, at times, you, you, I just thought, you know, that, that's Betty Davis. That is typical Betty Davis. I think she, was, uh, she did a great job. And Jessica Lange, of course, did a wonderful performance as well. And I would recommend everybody, if you haven't seen Feud, go ahead, check it out. It's, it's, I would definitely recommend it. And if you haven't seen this movie... Definitely go check it out. It has, you know, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford at, at the best. And the last one, and I'm very happy to have this, is uh, Hamlet, uh, Kenneth Branagh's film. This is uh, uh, four hours long. And, uh, you know, if you look this up on, um, on Amazon, uh, you know, it's going for crazy prices, but I found this um, on a Dutch marketplace. You know, some guy was selling it for 12 euros and 50 cents. So that's, I could not pass it up. That was, that, you know, still a very, very good price. I believe at the Amazon, there's a seller that was asking $75 for it. It was just insane. Absolutely insane. Next is Wind River. Uh, this is the directorial debut of uh, Taylor Sheridan, the writer of Sicario and Hell or High Water. And uh, he has done it again. He delivered another great, solid thriller. Um, Jeremy Renner plays a, a local tracker slash hunter who finds the dead body of a young teenage um, Native American girl and together with the FBI agent he um, you know he finds out he wants to find out finds out what happened to her uh, excellent performances by everyone involved um, Renner he portrays his character in a cool and calm way and I always find those characters very interesting you know They've experienced something terrible in their lives, but they remain calm. And um, I was afraid that um, Elizabeth Olsen um, would be miscast, but I was I was wrong. You know, I, I, she did very well, and uh, I like it that there is no romance between the two characters. I mean, in some movie it works, and in others it doesn't. But it would not have worked in this one. I mean, it would have been an unnecessary subplot, and it would have slowed the story down, you know. Next is uh, Loving Vincent. Now, this is an amazing achievement. It was first shot with re real actors, and later, during uh, post-production, they oil-painted the entire film, completely in the style of uh, uh, Vincent van Gogh, or Vincent van Gogh, as you say it in English. And, um, you know, this technique is called rotoscoping, where you, you know, draw animation over 
live action footage and it was done before with um, the 1978 animation version of Lord of the Rings for example and uh, Richard Linklater also made two films that way A Scanner Darkly and uh, Waking Life but this is the first time they used oil paint you know they used the same material that Van Gogh used uh, for his paintings you know over over a hundred professional painters worked on it for five years long and it was um, financed by the Polish Film Institute and by a Kickstarter campaign and um, the result is astonishing I mean this is a, a film of elegant beauty it absolutely looks amazing now this is the um, the Italian Blu-ray release which comes in this uh, lovely dizzy pack and you can see I mean it almost feels like a like it's like a canvas you know it has the feel of a canvas you can see there I love the, how they how they've done that you show the the inside of this this is the uh, oh, I'll take this out first and the blu-ray so you can see the, the whole picture here and the other side and it also comes with a couple of art cards beautiful beautiful release and a very beautiful film loving Vincent next is Blade Runner 2049 now this is the Dutch steelbook which also has a, a bonus disc inside I did not go for the uh, the box set with the uh, the blaster in it that's just too expensive but um, you know, I, I was I was careful with this movie. I mean, the first one is a personal favorite of mine, so I didn't want to have too much expectations. Even though Denis Villeneuve is the director, and he is one of the best directors working today. But um, you know, the first time I saw this, uh, I liked it, but I had some issues with it. Uh, for example, I thought it was too slow and too long at times and I usually don't have problems with that but in this case I did but the second time I saw it I just absolutely loved it and the issues that I had with it before were gone you know and um, is it better than the original no but it is it is a visual masterpiece. I mean, it looks incredibly stunning. I mean, the, the cinematography by um, Roger Deakins is absolutely amazing. Um, and I thought, you know, this, it, it has a great story. Uh, the screenplay was great. Uh, the score by Hans Zimmer was fantastic. Uh, the actors are very good, especially Sylvia Hooks. She plays Love, uh, Jared Leto's right-hand replicant. And I thought she was terrific. And one of the reasons why she was cast in this role is because she is Dutch. Uh, Rutger Hauer, who plays the villain in the first movie, is Dutch as well. So there's a, a little Dutch connection between the two films. Actually, there's another uh, Dutch actress in this movie. Um, uh, I've, I've forgot her name, but she plays the naked replicant who's being inspected by uh, Jared Leto, and then he, spoiler alert, cuts open her stomach and she drops dead. You know, that girl, she does as well. But um, yeah, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was absolutely great. Some people say it was it's, it's the best sequel ever made. I don't know about that. I mean. I kind of wondering have those people those people who says that have they even seen the Godfather Part Two, you know what I mean? But um, it certainly is one one of the greatest sequels uh, ever made, definitely that. 
Next is Roller Coaster. Now this is the um, the German release. Comes with this nice uh, slip cover there. And the reason I picked out the uh, the German release is because this has the uncut version, and the American Blu-ray is cut. Only if I'm, just for a couple of seconds, if I'm correct. But um, yeah, if you you want to have the uh, the uncut version. Make sure you get this one. It is reason to be locked, though, so that's uh, that's a shame for those who cannot play uh, these Blu-rays on a Blu-ray player. But um, pretty good film, this one. Pretty good film. Really good cast as well. Henry Fonda, Richard Whitmar going. Into. Pretty good. Uh, picked up finally uh, Dead Wish on Blu-ray, the Charles Bronson classic. Uh, I believe the uh, the Bruce Willis movie is coming out very soon, or it has already been coming out. But uh, I kind of doubt it. I I have I have my doubts about that one. You know, you cannot really beat the original. Also picked up uh, Dragon: The Bruce Lee Story, which I've always loved. You know, it's it's a great great film. Um, the transfer. Even though I haven't seen the movie entirely on this Blu-ray, I've only seen some clips of it. The transfer doesn't look that spectacular, but um, but still, you know, it's a great film, and I think the, uh, Jason Scott Lee did a terrific job as as Bruce Lee. He's not related to Bruce Lee, by the way. Um, even though he doesn't really look like Bruce Lee, he did he did a terrific job. And speaking of Bruce Lee, I also picked up the four Shout Select Blu-rays, uh, which I believe are out of print now, but they're still available, so get it before it's too late. Um, Game of Dead, this is his, um, his final film. Even though he never actually got you know to finish it, he died during the, uh, the making of it. Uh, but the final 30 minutes... You know, it's it's a classic. It's it's worth it for, for that, for for that alone. You know, the final tournament. It's with the real Bruce Lee. Uh, you know, he was replaced by an actor who looked like Bruce Lee, but um, it's kind of a me kind of a messy film. You know, uh, had two Blu-rays here with two different versions. This is the U.S. version, and here we have the Mandarin Cantonese version, which is uh, ten minutes shorter than the uh, U.S. one. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's not my favorite Bruce Lee film. But you know, like I said, the final twenty minutes, classic. Uh, Fist of Fury, oh, this is great. If if I have to pick one, then one Bruce Lee uh, film, then this have to be it. You know, also known as uh, the Chinese Connection. There's the uh, the other artwork on that, by the way. Uh, I haven't seen those, you know, these movies on on these um, Blu-rays yet. You know, they have new 4K scan and restoration from the original negative. I've only seen some clips of it, and it looks really good. I think that this, you know, in, in terms of picture quality, this is the best ones out there. Um, even though I haven't, I haven't, I have not gotten the UK Blu-ray, so I cannot compare them, but. I think these are the best ones in in terms of uh, you know picture quality and all that. Uh, in terms of bonus material, uh, they are actually very disappointing. Oh, excuse me. Um, the UK Blu-rays has more and better bonus materials, and Shout Select also um, or Sh Shout Factory also released a box set a couple of years ago. That also has documentaries in it and, and things like that. So I'm afraid if you want to get the whole collection, uh, you have to double or triple dip even. But um, yeah, anyway. Uh, the Way of the Dragon. This is the one where he fights Chuck Norris at the end in the uh, Coliseum. Another classic one, this, this film. Also known as Return of the Dragon. It is. And the last one is the Big Boss. Also known as Fist 
of Fury. Not to be confused with um, with this one, by the way. Oh. Anyway, four Bruce Lee classic films. And the last one I've gotten is uh, Basket Case from uh, Arrow Video. I'm very happy that they have decided to release the first movie uh, individually, you know, without the sequels. I absolutely disliked the sequels. I know I've said that many times before, but I just keep saying it whenever I talk about the uh, this movie. The sequels is so bad. It, it's absolutely so bad. But uh, I've always liked the first one. And... Uh, I'm glad that uh, this has gotten the release that it deserves, you know, I mean, look at the, uh, the special features on here. And, of course, I got the um, the pin you know, I, I ordered from the Arrow web shop. So I got the, uh, the pin here, which is similar to the pin of uh, Brain Damage. Looks very nice, right? It's from the same factory and all that. Yeah, very nice. Basket case and brain damage by the great Frank Hennon Lutter. Anyway, that is it for my February update. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.